Welcome to today's video, where we'll be looking at ways to address problems about systems of linear equations that appear on the subject test without actually solving them. I'm your host, Mohamed Omar, a professor in the math department at Harvey Mudd College. Today's problem asks, which of the following is false about the system of linear equations given in the picture? A. The system is consistent. B. The system has infinitely many solutions. D. The sum of any two solutions is a solution. D. Negative 5, 1, 1, 0 is a solution. And E. Every solution is a scalar multiple of negative 5, 1, 1, 0. Okay, in order to even address D, we'll actually have to check that it is a solution. And if we plug the point negative 5, 1, 1, 0 into the equations, we see that it is in fact a solution. So D can be ruled out. Now, as a consequence, A can actually be ruled out because the statement in A asks if the system has a solution, which we just verified it does, from D. So we can get rid of answer choices A and D. Now we've ruled out answer choices A and D, so let's consider a different perspective to move along. If we made a matrix out of the coefficients of the system, then the set of solutions to the system is the null space of that matrix. The null space is a vector space, so the sum of any two vectors in the null space is also in the null space. This rules out C. Moreover, since we have a non-zero element in the null space, namely the vector negative 5, 1, 1, 0, the null space has dimension at least 1, and so it's infinite, ruling out choice B. And so the only remaining choice we have for a false statement is statement E, and so E must be the answer. Now notice it's tempting to actually try to solve the system given in order to address the questions, but we circumvented that completely. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, please click the like button below, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel.